for me personally, you know, uh, getting to talk to Frank Frangie every day when I grew up listening to the Sports Fix with Frank Frangie. Dan Hick and Jeff Prosser, I watched them on television, you know, when I was a kid. Now I get to see them every day. That's what makes it really special for me is growing up with all these people, either watching them or listening to them and now calling them friends. That's a very, very cool deal for me personally. I was working at the movie theater over on Phillips Highway in high school, and I basically knew a guy that knew a guy. And that's how I got introduced to uh, Mike Dempsey uh, at 930 at the time. And that's really how it started. Just a matter of knowing a guy that knew a guy when I was an usher at a movie theater over on Phillips Highway back uh, during my high school years. When I first started as an intern with Mike, uh, I would just never leave the radio station. I wanted to learn everything from the board to on air, I mean, you name it, I did it. The word no left my vocabulary, said yes to absolutely everything. And uh, started out doing minor league baseball games, started out doing Saturday morning producing gigs. Uh, that worked its way into uh, producing weekday stuff. And then ultimately about, I guess, a year, year and a half into uh, my internship, it turned into a job when I became the uh, full-time afternoon producer uh, for Mike Dempsey. Mike made the move to a 1460 at the time, uh, three and a half years into working with him at 930 and asked me if I wanted to come with him. And I said, absolutely. So we went to a 1460 together, did a show with Tom McManus called The Rumble. And then obviously 1460 turned into 1010. Uh, so we started at 1010 when the doors opened, uh, but that's because we made the jump from 930 to 1460. I believe at the end of uh, 2005. We're all from here or have lived here for a very, very long time. I mean, I went to middle school here, high school here, college here. I mean, we are Jacksonville uh, guys and gals uh, for that matter. We, we know the city of Jacksonville and I think that's what makes working here so cool. I always call myself the utility infielder of 1010. I've done a little bit of everything and pretty much every uh, part of the day. I've been a producer, I've been a board op, I've done weekends, I've done nights, I've done middays, I've done afternoons. And then I believe in 2012, about five years after 1010 started, that's when I became uh, on air uh, middays uh, with Joe Cowart, did some evening stuff, Hacker After Dark uh, for a couple of years. Now I'm back to middays with a Joe, Matt, and Leon. Uh, Joe and I did some evenings as well. So uh, pretty much Joe and I have been doing radio together now for over a decade, uh, but love also working with Matt and Leon every day. Crazy thing for me is like Leon Searcy, I used to chase him around the parking lot when he played for the Jaguars to try to get his autograph as a you know, 12, 13 year old. And now I do a show with him every day. He's a really good friend of mine. It's just odd. Matt Hayes, I used to read him in the Times Union. And now we spar back and forth every day. Again, that's odd in a cool way. Uh, Joe Cowart, I've listened to Joe when I was in high school, met Joe in 2002, and here we are 20 years later doing radio every day. It's awesome. And uh, I've known JJ now for, golly, over five years, I guess. And he is uh, the great producer that you could ask for, the greatest producer you could ask for. The dude's awesome. He always helps out. He's good on air as well. And uh, I think we have really, really good chemistry on our show.